Hi there, in this short demo I'm going to show you how to connect MailChimp with a customer thermometer. That is to embed customer thermometer uh, one-click feedback buttons into your MailChimp marketing emails. Now if you are not already familiar with the concept of embedded thermometers and how to set up uh, our landing pages and so on, just uh, revisit the video above this one on this page. It will just give you a complete overview of embedded thermometers and in fact customer thermometer as a whole. Assuming you understand all that, uh, let's uh, crack on with exactly how to connect the two things together. So, uh, we're in our Manage Thermometers uh, mode here. We're going to click on Embedded Thermometers. That's what we need to look at. And uh, we're going to create a brand new embedded thermometer. I'm not going to talk about the landing page setup, so when we see this working, it's going to be uh, pretty bald, but uh, you'll soon figure out how to do that with the other demo. So we're now in our Thermometer Setup tab. First thing we're going to do is to select MailChimp from the drop down there. And we're going to give this uh, a name. This is actually a, a a name so you can see uh, the name of the thermometer and uh, this will also be your blast name as well when we come on to the reporting. You can choose whether or not to enable net promoter score and let's paste in our question here. How did you find our coffee today? Uh, we're going to then go down and choose um, uh, some icons. We'll choose the stars here um, and then you can of course go on to add uh, notifications and so on but uh, that's covered in a separate video. We're then going to connect, click the generate embed code and what this will then do it will then pop up um, uh, a little screen so you can actually preview what your thermometer will look like which you can actually customize in a moment we'll come on to that um, but this is the real uh, sort of piece of the jigsaw I wanted to bring your attention to so this is where we the more data you you add in here the more useful your reporting will be uh, when the clicks actually come through so what we're doing is we are uh, creating the link between uh, MailChimp and customer thermometer by adding the various fields in here now we've done this for you so what will, what will always occur assuming you have, of course you'll have the email address inside MailChimp, inside your list against your contact, uh, likely you'll have a first name and last name as well. Um, but the chances are uh, you may have other fields as well. So I'm just going to head into to MailChimp now. So we're in uh, lists and then I want you to, to uh, head on over and click on uh, settings and list fields and merge tags. Okay, that's what we've got open here. Now you can go ahead and create uh, as many of these as you wish, as you can see, add a field. You obviously need to have data against them um, inside your list, um, and, and we do in the couple that we have in our little test list here. So, as you can see, we've always got we've got email, we've got first name, and we've got last name, which is already uh, included. Um, if we just flick back to here, so these little uh, syntax. Um, elements are already included, but we're going to add another one. I'm just going to show you how to no add another one here. So we've added a uh, company, for example. Um, so what we can do is we can um, uh, copy and paste the, the company field there, or we can copy and paste uh, merge for. So let's just go that. I'm just going to take that and grab that in there. So um, that is also the equivalent, if I just replace this, of company. Okay, so the two do exactly the same um, as you can see here. Okay, um, so once that's in place, what that means is if you have uh, data uh, in your contacts that this is going to be sent to from the MailChimp application with uh, data against the field company, that's then going to show through in the customer thermometer reporting. Okay, so you can then go ahead and add more merge fields for custom two and custom three should you choose to. We're then going to click on the Generate HTML button. We're then going to single click, that will highlight everything in that window, Control C for copy. Okay, we're then going to go back into uh, our MailChimp application. We're going to click on Templates. We're going to click on uh, Coffee Test. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little thermometer um, in here. So I'm obviously going to show you how to edit um, inside MailChimp. I'm sure you'll be expert at that. Uh, but to insert the thermometer code, uh, we just need to go into the HTML mode here. And then I'm just going to literally control V for paste. Okay. We can then click on the HTML mode tags again, which means that we can now just do some, some uh, editing here. So how did you find our coffee today? We might want to change that. Um, how did you uh, find uh, how or how was our coffee? Was our 
coffee for you today. Uh, you might want to put um, some more spaces, for example, in here. This is kind of you know you you, you choose this based on your the template that you've got there, um, and then you can then um, once that's all in place. Uh, you can then uh, save and close that and then you can go ahead and that is your template uh, that's all you need to do in terms of connecting uh, the two services together you then go off and send a campaign so let's now have a look at what that campaign looks like uh, when an email comes through so just clicked on our reporting tab here if we scroll down to uh, embedded thermometers what you can also see is that the MailChimp demo 2 blast has been created by customer thermometer um, it's appearing completely blank at the moment um, that's because uh, obviously no uh, emails have been clicked but actually MailChimp has tried to click on the links or has, has, has generated new links inside MailChimp so uh, they've been suppressed we haven't actually recorded any clicks um, in this particular mode um, but we've got ourselves a blank blast um, if we then um, uh, bring up uh, one of our emails here. Here's uh, an email which has just been received. Um, we really liked our coffee today, so your uh, user um, is actually going to click on the gold uh, star, uh, which will now generate a response inside Customer Thermometer. Notice I said I didn't do any customization of the landing page. Uh, that's something you may want to do. So if we then go back into our uh, reporting page and refresh it, you can see now we have 100% uh, gold stars, uh, which is which is great. Um, and um, if I now um, take a look at the recipient list so we can actually see what's going on here you can now see this is the real power of custom thermometer this is not anonymous feedback this is real data uh, real people and th this is where we have our uh, custom one uh, which is brought through not just our first name and surname but also the company name too um, thanks to that uh, merge field that we filled in that is how to connect the two services together um, if you have any problems at all, uh, then do get in touch um, by dropping us a line uh, using the contact form below. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy embedding surveys inside your email marketing.